Hello guys and welcome to the second devlog of my current project which has no title yet <laughs> But anyway in the second video we are going to model a base female body for our main character that we have created in the previous devlog So let's jump into the process Alright, so first of all, let's start with the face and the head first. Now, my technique is pretty common technique that is mapping the geometry based on an image reference. While this is, might be not the best approach considering the fact that it might be more efficient by using sculpting technique, but if I do the sculpting, well, first of all, my computer might freeze because its performance expenses, and another thing is that Sculpting it's not kind of my expertise, so I prefer to choose modeling in geometry modeling technique way instead of sculpting. As you can see, the way I model the face is by adding a texture and then pulling the vertices to the right place until I reach the overall face shape. This is the best method I found so far to model anime face for low poly model and I have been using it for a while now. Well, I didn't invent this method, instead I found it online on some Japanese modeling website and I was thinking how easy this technique is to be implemented on my project. This video will cover all the process of modeling the base of female body, including arms, hands, legs, foot, and hair. And the reason I separate the base modeling process with the rest in this devlog, such as clothing, texturing, and rigging, is because I think I like to share kind of speed modeling process of this particular portion, since modeling an anime base model is quite rare to find on YouTube, I guess. So I hope this video can be both entertaining and educating in some way.
In my opinion, the challenging part of modeling a character is when it comes to connecting the parts of the bodies because connecting two meshes into one is quite hard sometimes since the number of fetishes may differ for each meshes and somehow we need to measure them by using subdivision or dissolving the fetishes. The idea behind low poly model is to keep the poly count as minimum as possible. This result can be achieved by dissolving unnecessary edges while keeping the overall shape of the model. The target poly count of a low poly model is really depends on the shape of the model itself so it can be extremely low or just moderate. In this case, I keep the poly count at the moderate level. Alright, we have come to the most difficult part of the character modeling, that is modeling a hand. Modeling a hand has been the part that I dislike the most, since it is quite complex in my opinion. I have looked at many references and even observed my own hand, but I still really didn't get the idea of its shape. I have tried different approach from laying down the basic shapes such as cobaning cubes, but still, it still looks funny. But after so much effort, I quite happy with the result on this model. Now, the way I model the hair is still using the same technique by mapping the geometry on the image reference and on the next minute so we'll still have the same process so there's no much things that I can say right now. So I will leave you guys with the rest of the process and I will come back when it finish. Enjoy!
Alright, here is the final result. Well, I'm happy with the result. It got everything correctly, place it and shape it, and maybe I will tweak several things in the future, but for now I guess it is fine. And anyway, thank you for joining me in this second devlog. Perhaps the next devlog I will cover the clothing model process, texturing, and even rigging. So if you enjoyed the video, please give a like and consider to subscribe. And until then, see you next time.